Hey loves, it's Brit, and in this video I'm going to talk about Pluto conjunct the Ascendant in Sinistry. I'm surprised I haven't done this one yet. This is a very intense, crazy aspect to have. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So this aspect is probably one of the top 10 as far as sexual attraction goes or physical attraction to someone's body um, would go, maybe even top five. Um, the Pluto person finds the ascendant person to be their physical ideal or there's something about the way that the ascendant person acts that is a huge turn on for the Pluto person. And the uh, ascendant person feels like the Pluto person has this magnetic power. They might actually end up in a situation where the Pluto person does have some sort of power over them. Um, there can be themes of dominance and submission, usually with the Pluto person having some form of dominance over the Pluto person. So there can be power struggles come up in this. Um, the ascendant person can be unwantedly transformed by the Pluto person. So a lot in this conjunction will depend on the Pluto person's state of consciousness and where they are at with their own Pluto. Because as Pluto in a powerful conjunction like this, we have a choice to make. Are we going to help this person or are we going to hurt this person? And you can see that with Pluto Sinistry, um, the Pluto person often having to make that choice. And in many cases, um, because of the, the past life karmic ties we have with strong Pluto Sinistry, it actually can be very hard for the Pluto person to choose to be in integrity and choose to be a good person to um, the ascendant person in this case or the planet person in other cases. It's like this unfathomable power um, comes into the Pluto person that, yeah, they really have to choose to be a good person. And um, so, you know, if the Pluto person is more aware of what is going on, more aware of their own um, internal struggles and um, their own, you know, their secrets, their depth, their, you know, like what they're running from emotionally, right? If they're more aware of that and maybe they've done some work on that, then this contact doesn't have to be so toxic. They don't have to act in a certain way that's harmful towards the ascended person but you always want to mention that because you never know um, with Pluto contacts things can get really ugly and it's because of these unconscious power plays that come up that are usually um, carrying over from other lifetimes. So if the Pluto person is more evolved, um, they can actually really be that pivotal person in the ascendant person's life to change the trajectory of their life. Um, the ascendant is a lot about like your life path, where you're going and your main, you know, dominant energy that you use to go there, right? And so you can see the Pluto person having a huge impact on the life direction of the ascendant person. Um, this is a very root chakra um, contact as well. So there can be feelings of safety and survival come up in this conjunction. Um, you could even see like in a past life that maybe the ascendant person was dependent on Pluto for survival um, or even like a past life parental contact. I mean, you might want to meditate on what the past life contact could be if there is one. Um, so the ascendant person can definitely get really wrapped up in needing the Pluto around and actually um, the Pluto really needs the ascendant just as much, but they don't like to admit it unless they're, they are comfortable being emotionally vulnerable because actually 
the Pluto person, and this might be controversial, feels more in this contact because the ascendant person is just acting and just being themselves. And in that action, or even just in their physical presence, their physical body, the Pluto person is like heart racing and just having these powerful, intense emotions being dredged up and they just cannot get them out of their head. Like they are obsessed and because they are so obsessed, it triggers fear in them, which is where we can get some of the toxic stuff come up where um, the Pluto person can try to control the ascendant person because the Pluto person can also be jealous of how the ascendant person so freely expresses the qualities of that sign that they have all these deep issues around, right? As shown by their Pluto. So it, they can be very triggered by just the basic actions of the ascendant person. And, um, you know, yeah, if they're operating from a more uh, lower self-worth place, they can try to cut them down. They can try to tell them, you know, don't act like that, don't dress like that, or don't be like that, or, you know, you're immature, or your goals are immature, where, like, they can really cut down the ascendant person if they choose to, and everything that they do to the ascendant person will be very strongly felt um, by the ascendant person on a very deep level. So there can be a lot of pain in this contact. This is not an easy conjunction. This is not a lighthearted relationship at all. Um, you can see some really crazy behavior with this conjunction. This is like one of those Pluto aspects that you should be very careful, be very aware when you have it. It's not all bad though. It definitely can be very good. We'll talk more about the good parts um, for sure because I like to have a positive outlook on things and if you have signed up for this relationship in your soul contract you might as well um, derive benefit from it right so yeah the positives of this conjunction would be that the, the life-changing effects so they both are radically transformed um, like that quote um, I think it what is it like the meeting of two personalities um, forever transforms them or whatever that quote is um it's like a chemical reaction or whatever so that's like kind of the gist of this relationship where you cannot be the same after a conjunction like this the ascendant person you can see their actual personality change for better or for worse but hopefully for better you know they can actually become more powerful they can actually become more self-aware they can actually become more confident because the pluto person is seeing them with this probing depth like no other so they can feel very seen they can feel very safe and they can end up regenerating and transforming um you know personality blocks that are holding them back self-esteem blocks um even blocks with their physical appearance like they might um, end up taking better care of themselves because of Pluto. Um, they just, yeah, everything to do with the, themselves on a very basic primal level can be transformed and can be transformed for the better. So, you know, it really would be a good contact in um, like some sort of therapeutic sense where maybe Pluto is like the therapist or the counselor or the astrologer or something like that or the coach. Um, and if Pluto is like coming from a good hearted, like self worth, strong place of integrity, um, the Pluto person can really be that catalyst for the ascendant person to totally transform and change their whole entire life. So that's like the best case scenario. And the ascendant person helps the Pluto person too, though, majorly because the Pluto wound and the compulsions, the fears that the Pluto person has is also the seat of their power when they bring awareness to it, right? Because Pluto is actually at the higher level 
like our transforming power, our transmutation power. So the Pluto person is becoming more powerful as well because they're, by just the ascendant person acting and being around them and triggering all of this deep stuff in them, they end up, you know, taking their power back and, and bringing awareness to these issues, these inner child things, these, you know, whatever the sign of their Pluto is, whatever the house of their Pluto is, that issue, they are getting massive awareness around it from just being around the ascended person. So it's very helpful. Um, yeah, so what else? It's definitely helpful in a, a therapeutic sense as well. So it can end up being a very beautiful relationship that's very healing, very deep, very intimate. Like I said, the, the physical aspect is off the charts. This is one of the top 10 or top five sexual magnetic attraction aspects. This is the kind of aspect you see that person from across a crowded room and you're just like, oh my God, that's my soulmate. You're gonna see a lot of this. You're gonna have a lot of people come to you if you're an astrologer with this aspect and saying they had that exact experience. Um, first house synastry, specifically ascendant conjunctions, but even all planets in first house really um, that are sexual planets do create that love at first sight energy. Now this one is a little bit of love mixed with fear and terror, <laughs> depending on where you're at with plutonic energy. It's uh, definitely felt and um, it can be really hard to let go because it does create a neediness or a codependency that can come up here so if it is time to let go and like if you're working with someone who has this in their sinistry or if you're having this in your sinistry you're going to want to bring up um psychic tie cutting and like removing the person from your energy field will take time it will take effort it will take work um but it can be done and something that i always say about pluto sinistry is you think you'll never get over it until you get in another Pluto industry relationship. So um, just hold on to that knowing if you're stuck in this one. Um, and it's for whatever reason had to be let go because you can see this show up in a relationship that's otherwise not healthy, right? And um, this one aspect combined with some other difficult aspects can be very unbearable and very, very toxic. So you always want to handle with caution, strong Pluto aspects, um, because yeah, if the Pluto person is not aware um, or operating from a lower place, they can be very damaging to the ascendant person. And it's, it's because of the fear and the emotional triggers that get brought up. It's so intense that some people do not do very well with it and some people do really well with it, right? So this is definitely a, a life transforming aspect. I'd love to know if you had this aspect, what was your experience? Let me know in the comments and keep your requests coming, you guys. Let me know in the comments your requests and thank you so much for watching. We'll talk soon. Bye.